Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. <clears throat> this is a Project Cars 2 PC game. On the bottom as you can see uh, this is a Samsung Deck Station task menu. So it's an Android station. And this is a Logitech G27 steering wheel. Can you play this game with the steering wheel G27 with the gear shifter and the pedals on Android device? Yes you can. And I'll show you in a minute how I done it. Just before I go to the intro, let's have a quick test. So change the change the uh, camera. They can all race. I don't really care about the. Go for it. One, two, three. Okay, and I hit the wall. Back to three. Four. And I'm driving like a drunk. Anyway, I'm playing G uh, Project Cars 2 on a deck station using G27 steering wheel. Stay tuned, and I will show you how I done it. So the trick, hold on, let me move the camera. <clears throat> the trick that I'm using is called USB over net or USB over network. What this solution does is you connect your USB device to, um, let's say, a computer and other computer and across the world in another country and another side of the world can use that USB key, USB device. So. How to set it up? First of all, you need to have your paper space and a parsec set up. How to do that? I already done a video. Go check that out. I will leave the video in the description below. When you set up your paper space cloud gaming and parsec client, and you connect, to, you can connect via parsec to your cloud gaming. When all this is done, you go to your deck station and then load a couple of apps. Actually, it's only one app. You go to a Google Play Store and search for virtual here. There's a numerous ways how to do it. Virtual here gives you a free trial with one USB device. If you want to use more than one USB device, you need to make a payment. But that's all we need is one USB device, which is this, which is G27 steering wheel. So when you connect, when you done that and you download this app, you just open up. And this opens up and it says virtual here USB server. Let me close the Google Play Store. So now what I'll do, I'll plug that in. So plugging in G27 steering wheel, it says, oh, I found a new device. Do you want to use this new G27 goes into a calibration mode. Yes, I want to use it. So right now this app detects the G27 steering wheel and it's ready to share. So when it's ready to share, you go and open your Parsec cloud gaming, or Parsec client and connect to your cloud gaming computer. How to set it up and how all this working, I already mentioned and I've done it in a previous video. Go check that out, set it up. And when you set up, you should connect to your par set, to your paper space cloud gaming computer. This is me, cloud gaming computer, uh, Windows 10. Obviously you're not gonna have all these games or anything pre-downloaded. You're gonna have just a couple of apps here. Everything I mentioned in a previous video, go check that out. When you set up everything and it's ready to go, go back here. So when you've done all this here, you need to open a Chrome browser inside the virtual computer and search virtual here. One of the first links should is this at virtualhere.com. Click on there. Go to a client section. Website might change by the time you're watching this video, but look for client and then load Windows client because we're running a virtual computer or virtual cloud computer in Windows, Windows or, or OS. Download that. When you click on that, it's going to download a small file, which is going to end up in the downloads folder in the in your Skype, in, in your cloud computer. Go to your file browser, go to downloads. <clears throat> and this is the file that we were talking, that we were talking about. Move that file somewhere in the desktop. I already have moved on the desktop. 
So all good. So before you connect on here, everything to connect and etc. What you need to do, you need to close Parsec and go to your go to your. I nearly showed my IP address. Go to your route ro uh, router settings. So usually or most of the routers, the addresses is this. This is your router address 192.168.1.1. Connect and port forward port number 7575. How to do it? It's, it's very hard. Well, it's numerous routers, numerous versions, numerous companies and etc. Go check your manual, go check online, Google it, how to do it. But you need to port forward 7575. So you connect here, you port forward 7575, restart the router and your port should be open by then. When it's all done, you go to a Google and type this. What is my IP address? Let me move the mouse some uh, camera somewhere here because that's where my IP address should appear. By here, I just gonna show you here we are. That's my IP address. I'm probably gonna cover that anyway, so here we are. It's gonna show your IP address. I'll cover that. So when you get this IP address, take a note somewhere, write it down, because this is the important thing for you to use. So you have your uh, public IP address logged in. You have successfully port forwarded number 7575 to your router. So let's close everything up. So that's it. I have my IP address and I have my port forward. Go back to a Parsec. Connect to a cloud computer. So let's wait until it connects. Sometimes it's picky, sometimes it crashes. Well, but it's, it's most of the time it's working. Open up this VHUI64.exe. <clears throat> so virtual here client. You're just gonna see here USB hub. You aren't gonna see this plus sign. What you need to do, you need to click on there and specify the hub. And this list will be empty. Click add and enter your IP address which you checked using what is my IP address on your deck station. So you punch your IP address. So for example, like this. So your four digits, four numbers separate by dots, uh, semicolon 7575. When you've done that, you close, or oh, sorry, not close. You click OK, close, and that's it. This is all set up. Next thing, let's go back to a virtual here server. Close, open again, which is there. I moved it to a different folder. So virtual USB server is running. It's again de de detecting all the USB devices that they are connected to my virtual here USB server. When you, you have this one running and it's all detected USB device, you can close it because it's running in the background. Go back to a parsec, open up. Let's wait until it connects. And <clears throat> if everything's successfully done, you should see this message. Virtual here USB server trial version. What that means is um, it's allowing you to use one USB device for free. One USB device for free, but that's all we need. We need just a steering wheel. So close that and you should see a plus sign. If I click on there and click on there, it gives me all the USB devices I'm currently connected to my deck station. So I have my USB mouse, which is there, and a keyboard. I have my <clears throat> USB uh, hub adapter with Ethernet um, port connected. I have my, hold on my mouse, um, G27 steering wheel connected. Everything is fine. Next thing, you go to a Chrome browser and search for G27 steering wheel software. And one of the first links should give you access to this page. Go down, you should see the steering wheel image. You click on download. It automatically selects Windows 10 and 64 bits. Click download now. And it's gonna download a small file with all the software drivers and etc. needed for this steering wheel work on the virtual computer. When that's downloaded, you go to a downloads folder, and this is a file that you will have to, well, run it. 
when you run this file, it's installed the Logitech <clears throat> gaming software on the virtual computer. If, when all this successfully installed, you should see on the start menu the um, new uh, like um, program appeared, which is called Logitech gaming software. I open that up, wait until it <clears throat> loads, and it's not detected. Right, okay, I know why. Cancel, go in here, go in here, and double click on this. See, in use by you. So right now, this steering wheel is connected to this cloud computer. And I heard the little Windows noise, make, or beep beep noise, where Windows makes when you connect a new USB device. Now I go to this Logitech program, and boom, I have my steering wheel connected. So let's test the buttons. As you can see here, buttons working. Gas, acceleration, pedal. As you can see, um, everything working just to make sure. Gaming controllers, here we are. G27 steering wheel, click on properties. <clears throat> so if I turn the wheel, as you can see, acceleration, brakes, clutch, and wheel goes all the way. Everything is working. So when it's all done, close it, close it, and this app, this client app, you can close it because it's running in the background there. You run your game of your choice. Let's say I want to play Project Cars 2. So, did I run? Here we are. Project Cars 2 is running. Let's wait. Let's wait for a second or so until the game starts. While it's loading, I'll tell you that the gaming experience is, depends on your broadband speed. Because the cloud computer is a monster, it's beef, it's, 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 <coughs> it runs every game in super quality. That all depends how much quality you're getting on your end, end device like a deck station. It all depends on your Ethernet speed or internet speed. If your internet provider is decent and it gives you a good, good quality, so let's go. Oh yeah, I had the steering wheel connected. So, oh, I know what's happened. Let's run again. I had the gear shift on. Controller must be not connected in any. And updates. Oh, I hate updates. Let's run again. Here we are. I can see it's running in the background. Come on, let's start. Let's start the game again. Yeah, it all depends on your broadband speed. If you want to have a decent gaming experience, you need to have a very fast broadband or download speed. Otherwise, you will get once in a while the pixels or you can go in-game and lower the resolution and the quality because the, the less quality or the less GPU power the cloud computer needs to work with, the better gaming experience you will get at the end device. So here we are, Logitech. Uh, steering wheel, etc. Calibrate the wheel. Yes, fine. Turn anti-clockwise all the way. I done it. Next, turn other way at 90 degrees roughly. Done it. Save. That's it. I'm ready to race. Let's go to quick play. Let's go to the same car, same track, and etc. So the game is starting on my cloud computer, which is I connected to the cloud computer by. Uh, Parsec client on my deck station and I connected my G27 steering wheel and it's loading right now the game. So far the quality of the game is okay. I don't really like the, the volume of this. Let's, let's increase a bit. Okay. So can it start. Okay, it's too loud. So change the camera. And let's go for it. And a force feedback. Oh my god. It's so... And I lost control. Seriously, force feedback is... I lost it. Brakes. Obviously, I can use a gear shifter. Let's reverse. 
and I'm proper crashing this car. Okay, it's sort of about my driving. I am not the best driver in the world. Let, let, let's take it slowly. Let, let's, let's like we're driving to a shop. Second. Three. Four. And okay, that wasn't very good. Just to show it to you, if I go to the in car, as you can see, the steering wheel turns as I'm turning. So let's let's plus six reverse first. Let's take it slow. Straight into four. Okay, this the, the this force feedback is just hits hits you. Not bad, not bad. Obviously I'm on last, but who cares? This is just to a video to show you that yeah, this game is well. You can play the game, a racing game, on your deck station using a G27 steering wheel. It is possible. Thank you very much for watching. I so bad in driving. Stop. Yes, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.